Hello everybody and welcome to Edge Shed. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can make gold from the new Heart of Thorns expansion. And this guide is pretty much intended for the initial few weeks after Heart of Thorns has been launched. Once the whole thing sort of settled down a bit, I'll probably make a new guide and there'll be a link to that when that happens. But uh, for the time being, I'm presuming that it's still... You know, Heart of Thorns has only come out for me yesterday. So the guide's very relevant at this moment I'm making it. Now, there's two main things that I've spotted in Guild Wars Heart of Thorns that you can make a lot of gold from and are very easy to farm and craft yourself. Now, these are the vials of linseed oil and they are the glass mugs. I dare say you can also make quite a lot of money from the empty kegs, but I know that you can make a lot from these two, so these are the two that I'm going to sort of be focusing on. Now, for the vials of linseed oil, they're selling currently for around about 5 gold, and they require piles of flaxseed, milling stones, and milling basin. Now, the milling basin is an item that you can actually buy from sort of any of the crafting discipline vendors, so um, chefs, weaponsmiths, etc. Uh, the milling stone is stuff that you're going to sort of just be finding as you're going through the region. I will... Yeah, I, be I believe that it's something that you're actually going to be gathering from the plants and stuff in the in the regions. But if you, if you need to, you can actually purchase this one from the trading post and you're still going to be making money on it. Uh, the next one is the piles of flax seeds you're going to need to make these. And you're going to need 20. But the flax seeds are actually very common in the any of the jungle regions. So if you get out and about and you take, keep looking around, you're going to be able to find them and you're going to be able to make these vials of linseed oil. And you can make them with pretty much any of the crafting disciplines. It'll be under the refinement section. Now, this is great, but obviously the flax seeds will eventually run out, so you're sort of limited to the amount that you can gain during any one day. Now, the next thing that you can make is the glass mugs. Now, the glass mugs, you're going to need lumps of glass. And to get these, you're going to need piles of coarse sand. Now, the piles of coarse sand is actually quite expensive on the trade post for what it is. Because you can get this very easily by going back to the silver wastes and running any of the events there. Now, the events there are going to reward you with piles of sand. As you're sifting through this, you will be getting quite a lot of this coarse sand. I would say there's around about a 50% chance it drops from my experience of it. To make one mug, you're going to need a total of... 12 piles of coarse sand, but one mug is going to sell for around about 5 gold, so you can obviously see that that's going to very quickly allow you to um, to make quite a bit of money doing this. You could always be really nice and contribute these items to your guild to allow them to upgrade the tavern, upgrade other sections on it, but if you're, if you're just out to make money, then it's very, very easy to do it using these two items. Um, that, them are my suggestions. That is um, my top tips for making gold currently in Heart of Thorns. I would, I would not be holding on to these items if you've got them. I would either put them into your guild to show that you are really contributing, or I would sell them because I think the price on these is going to absolutely bomb coming up. So I could be wrong, and you could all hate me because you could have got a lot more for them. But I think that you're probably best now to actually sell these, so that's something to bear in mind. And that goes pretty true with any of the new items that you find in, in Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. Because, quite frankly, there just isn't any of them on the market, so people are willing to pay over the odds for stuff that perhaps isn't as rare as they're currently feeling it is. But um, I hope this has been of some help to you. Please do like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you around.